it's I'm Dave Rage, the average pen tester, and welcome to Directory Traversal. So today we're going to be talking, we're going to be going through one of these um, Directory Traversal labs uh, by uh, Port Swigger. It's going to be the very first one. Going to be super simple, super easy. So let's just let's just dive right in. Um, so Directory Traversal is an easy concept to understand. If you're used to using like a Kali Linux, or if you're used to using like a terminal of any kind, uh, that file directory any file directory really, directory traversal is exactly how it sounds. You're traversing, you're going through uh, the directory, but instead of just like local files or like in a terminal, you're going through the file directory of the backend server of the web application. So there are, I mean, there are a few ways to, to go about doing this, but let's read a little bit of the documentation. Let's look at some of the examples here. This will be kind of like a brief overview. So if we have like a um, something like this, right, uh, a file name that points to a specific file, right? Uh, it's going to be grabbing that file from somewhere. Typically, it's going to be grabbing that file from this. Uh, this is just an example, mind you. So var www images uh, 218.png. So now in the actual HTTP response, we see it would be something like this, right? The file name would equal, you know, uh, 218.png, right? So a way that we can kind of sneak around that file directory is by doing the uh, dot dot forward slash input, which moves up a directory, right? So it kind of breaks you out of the current directory so you can go crawl around other directories. So that, that kind of makes sense, right? So here in this example, we see the file name, uh, they do um, dot dot forward slash a few times and they're trying to find the Etsy password um, because that's, you know, that's where all the passwords are, are hidden. So Etsy password, Etsy shadow, uh, things of that nature. You'll see that this causes the file path to then be var uh, www images and then goes up two direct or three directories, right? Into Etsy password. Typically this would then return the Etsy password if it in fact exists, if you can find it. Um, Going to be the apprentice lab. <clears throat> so let's just hop right into it. So uh, as per usual, we got Burp Suite up here on the left. We got the lab here on the right. We're brought to the normal e-commerce website. So we go into the target. I did a few other things <laughs> earlier, but this is uh, this is the lab. So we see in the target right in the tree structure, we have a few things here. In normal uh, circumstance, we're not gonna know what's going on. So that's why we just hopped into the lab. We're not gonna read the explanation of what we're trying to do. Uh, we already know that we're trying to do path traversal of some kind, but we don't know where to look. We don't know what we're really doing here. We we really wanna go in blind because we really wanna understand the context of the web application. So this is just normal e-commerce of a bunch of different things. We could view some of the details, the description, we have an image, uh, and then we have in the URL, right? We have a product ID equals one. Okay, cool. So I'm not seeing anything jumping out at me saying, hey, directory traversal, they're, they're loading from images. Uh, or you know a file of some kind. So we can just go ahead and return to the list, kind of snoop around here, uh, view uh, a little bit of these, but these seem to be almost exactly the same. And again, that product number is gonna be incremented by one, which is you know normally what it is in this you know fake e-commerce site. Additionally, we don't have anything else here. We have a home screen, we don't have a login screen, you don't have anything, this is it. This is all that, that exists. So I'm not seeing anything can really be a, a file being pulled off the server, right? So if we go here uh, in, in a burp suite into the target, we can see a few things. So we got some product IDs. We don't really care about that though. The product IDs, they, they equal one. It's not pulling .txt file, uh, .png file. So it's just pulling a number, which most likely it's just grabbing from, uh, you know, the back end and saying, oh, hey, if number equals one, you know, display this, you know, whatever. We don't really care about any of the products, right? We care about some of these resources though. So the resources, so we see here, we have like a CSS file, right? We have images, we have shop.svg. Uh, so we, we see a little bit of files. So if we go to images, JS, we have some JS, we have some extensions here. We have something that that could be here, but we don't really know quite yet. So if we go into the HTTP history and we see some of these things, some of this traffic, we see, we see this. We see uh, file name equals 53.jp. So if we just go ahead for simplicity and if we delete uh, all the selected items here and we just simply do a refresh, it gives us uh, it gives us a ton of stuff. 
So what we get is that when we hit refresh, the images themselves are being called in a get command, right? So we have this get request here, uh, image file name 57.jpg. So this is exactly what we want. So we see that there are a few here. They're all grabbing from the same exact spot, right? Except the only difference is the file is being called something different. So it's the same directory, the same everything, you know, it's file name, image, whatever. So what we're gonna do here, since this seems super suspicious, right? We're gonna go ahead, right click uh, and send it to repeater so we can do stuff. So we're automatically just gonna go and just send it normally. We see, we receive an okay. We see some Adobe Photoshop, you know, stuff here. Uh, and then we see a, bu a bunch of encrypted uh, nonsense. So none of this is helpful um, on this response. So we could go to render. Uh, and it renders this image. Okay, great, cool. So we see the image right here on the e-commerce site. It's it's loading a bunch of these images. Well, it's time to try to traverse that file directory. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna delete, we're just gonna delete everything. And then we're gonna do dot dot forward slash, right? Cause that is uh, the convention here. We're gonna send it and it says no such file. Well, we didn't even give it a file name. We didn't even give it anything. Okay, cool. Let's just do, that again, no such file, one more time. And oops, uh, last time. So no such file. So so there's nothing here, no such file, right? So we see if we look at the pretty uh, stuff and not just the rendered context, so we see uh, we're going up, what is it, four, four directories, uh, and now we get a 400 bad request. But if we go backwards, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting the exact same behavior. So, okay, cool, fine, whatever. So no such file. So it's actually trying to search for what you're putting in there. Let's go ahead and go to uh, Etsy. File name, Etsy. We're gonna see if we can find something there. And we're just gonna do dot dot forward slash uh, to try to break out of that directory and keep on going up some directories. So we're not getting anything here, but we're also not, searching for a file of any kind. We're searching for uh, another directory. We're searching for uh, Etsy, which which is, you know, a folder, a directory, you know, whatever. Let's go back and reset it uh, and let's think. So like, what do we want to find as like a, a pen tester or a hacker or, or someone who's doing something like this? We really want to find meaningful uh, data. So a hacker is going to care about, hey, like give me passwords, give me usernames, give me uh, contact data, give me uh, telephone numbers, uh, credit card data, like whatever, you know? So as, as a pen tester, we want to also try to have that mentality and be like, okay, well, uh, if there's any low hanging fruit, let's try to grab it. And then also what is that data that we want, that we care about uh, for the customer, the website, you know, whatever, whoever, you know, we're doing the pen test for, uh, we, we want to be able to tell them, hey, we found this super critical data, whatever, uh, you should probably not have this there. So uh, we're going to go uh, with the, uh, with the burp suite. Uh, rec or port swigger recommendation. We're going to go Etsy, you know, password. So we're going to go uh, pass WD. So Etsy password, because we want to find that password file, because that's going to be the juicy information, as a lot of uh, uh, pen testers say. So no such file exists. Okay, cool. So we're going to do what we have been doing, right? And we're going to try to uh, go through the file directory and we're going to see uh, if we can get anything. So we're just gonna keep on going, bam, and it found what we we're looking for. And it's giving us the, the Etsy password, password file in, in the return response. So this is awesome, this is great. Uh, this is something definitely be uh, a finding in a pen test. Uh, and it's actually the entire purpose of this lab. So we have successfully exploited file directory traversal vulnerability. So let's see if we can actually if there's also the shadow file. No, okay, cool. So uh, there's only the password file, which is fine. And if we just quickly uh, do a refresh on the Web Security Academy, right? It'll give us, congratulations, you solved the lab. So we didn't solve it in the actual web app I itself because it didn't seem like we'd go to some of these few details, right? The URL, there is no URL, uh, you know, for this uh, this um, endpoint of, of the file name for the image because it preloads everything when you when you reload the page so there's no 
real URL that's gonna that's gonna pop up up here. Um, so you could have really done this in, in one of two ways, most likely. You could have done it the way that we did it in repeater, or you could have gone to intercept proxy, you know, turn this on, refreshed it, and then forward it until you get, you know, right here, until you get that. And then you could have just typed in, you know, the dot dot forward slash, uh, and then the Etsy pass, ooh, password. Uh, and then if you forward that, see, then this is why I don't like, and this is why I don't like using uh, the intercept when it comes to things like this, because there's so many requests. Uh, and then you get all the responses. Uh, we, we might've gotten it back. We might not have, I, I clearly missed it. But anyway, uh, the way that we did it with repeater is probably the best way to do it since the point of repeater is to repeat. Uh, all these things. And that's something that you'll definitely have to do in the request uh, for file directories because you just got to keep on trying, right? There, there's no other way that you can do it. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. And that's really all there is to it um, when it comes to directory traversal. There are a little bit more things that you can do, but with this simple case, that that's really it. So if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and feel free to ask for additional things for me to review in videos down in the comments below. Take care.